Okay, my favorite place in the building, or one of them, is the courtyard. And this area is my husband's. <laughs> and I, this gave me the creeps. It was so dirty and so dingy, and the brick was full of efflorescence. You know, the, it was crumbly stuff coming out because of the moisture. Um, we've coated it. I, you should be okay. <laughs> <laughs> there were shelving in here full of old cobwebby paint cans. It was awful, but my husband saw that it was a rat skeller. So here it is, and he's very happy about this. Behind, now, when you, let's see, backing up. There are three, the, the building has been sprinklered uh, way back, and uh, it more than meets code, I was happy to hear. <laughs> but there are three risers that, that take care of it. There are three bells out in uh, the courtyard. They're all connected to there. If there's a, a problem, they would ring and alert the fire department who would come with their hoses. There's one that's painted red in the cafe that you passed with a, a squeegee door across. There's another one back behind there. Now, I don't want to tell you this or not, but take it however. Early on, there, there have been people here steadily, really, looking for ghosts, <laughs> paranormals. The first one who came was writing a book, and she s went back there. One of the reasons that's walled off, it wasn't, is because she uh, sensed um, some kind of warring activity or strife. And we account for that as the Indians, the Native Americans probably were arguing about something or other. So I had a talk with them. <laughs> <laughs> We walled it off, no one's complained. <laughs> but I wanted you to see this area because um, it was even sprinklered down here. Um, we added the, you know, obviously added the bar and the accoutrements and tried to keep it semi-primitive. <laughs> I mean, it's not, not real polished. Uh, well, it's highly polished. <laughs> you know what I mean. Uh, going this way were some, there are some rooms, I, I still don't like this area particularly. Uh, to me it's real dark, but there's a pool table and stuff, which is probably billiards would have been one of the hotel uh, furnishings for the men too in this area. So, um, but you can see, as you look at the construction, you, you see how sturdily it's built. You'll see heavy beams and uh, all of it probably local. As we've been working on it, these, these boards are not equidistant from each other. They're not a uniform width. Um, it's, it's, I just think it's a exciting to me look at how life and you know, society has developed and how construction methods have changed and tooling and, and all of that. And this is how you see it, is to come into an old building. Is the wood beam, does it start there and go all the way across? Pretty much. Boy, they took some tall trees down there yes. to do this. That's, that's yeah. long. In the um, brew pub, the end that, that wall, there's glass and, and beams that wall off the brewing equipment, we took those beams out of an upper floor to use. They were not cons needed con for the construction safety of the building. So, so we took a few out and used them. So you can see how rough they are. And these are the orig many of mm -hmm. the original, mm -hmm. but you did have to replace them. Mm -hmm. None? No, we oh, haven't wow. replaced any. Oh. There is, I can see some new boards, but they're uh -huh. before our time. Okay. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> So we're just about done. What I'd like to do is take you up a little ramp and we'll go back out onto Ottawa Street through the Rockwells and the tenants entrance, which was again a storefront. And you can see from the inside how, was, how the store was set up. Uh, not 
just basically, you know, roughly. Um, any questions yet? Yes. This part um, is an original part of the building? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's right under the lobby. Okay. Yeah. Stone, uh huh. Stone River Stone, that is. Excuse me. So that was original, obviously. To yes. The Where did that? And what was it used for? Um, the front of the building is again an oval, just like the dining room mm -hmm. it, 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 uh, is significant. There was a floor totally there. We opened that up to get access down here and discovered that the front protrusion, the rounded part, is all based at Riverstone. It's called Riverstone. It just was, just was stone. They, they came from the river. Mm -hmm. And they used it the, in a small amount to, to support the, the steps in the wall that formed the lobby of the building, thinking no one would see it. Now I think that's really <laughs> neat. But um, you can take a look at that if you want. There's another area on the other side, but you can't see it from here. You're in the lobby, and it goes down to the street entrance again. The street entrance is lower than the lobby. You have to go up to the lobby. This is on a rise, and that's one of the reasons that Oliver really liked it. It it's, sits higher. In fact, the middle grounds are out this way, full of railroad tracks, and lagoons at originally before it was drained and um, Mr. Anderson who owned the building fr from whom we bought the building said that he remembered as a child and it still happens the circus train pulled up oh. and this area was just high enough to open up the cars and the animals came right straight up oh my and would go down downtown or wherever they were going Wonderful. So that's how much higher. Do you know what circus it was? Way back. Way back. But they, the elephants came by here oh a year a year ago, going down to oh, the that, oh, Huntington so Center. Oh, the Huntington that Center. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, my heavens. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go up the little and stop when you get in that little area. Up there? Up this way. There's a, a little bit of a, a rise here. There's a handrail. Come as far as you can. <laughs> 